G'day mate and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included with me, JD. Now, this episode could be a little bit longer, could be a little bit shorter. Um, I really don't know until we actually run through the whole episode. Um, but as I said at the start of the series, I am planning to... to... Uh, cut things out is probably the best way of putting it. We, we've run 16 episodes basically back to back. Um, and you guys have seen pretty much everything that's been covered. I just realised that's facing, facing the wrong way. Um, but then I've, I've spent probably like an hour or two um, doing stuff off camera, running game speed fast and not having to think and explain what I'm doing as I'm doing it, just rushing through the game. So, research. We finished all the way up to basic rocketry. Everything from now on requires this new interstellar research. So we can't do anything about it till we actually get up to space. Now, in saying that, we have dug all the way up to space. We can see space here. We need steel before we can actually start doing anything with space, which means we need refineries, which means we need to do some work. Um, on top of that, you can see we've got a little, little oxygen generation room here. Now, this is fairly simple. We bring water in. We... Uh, take oxygen out and we take the hydrogen and we shove it up here and I'm even putting the gas reservoir up here along with a hydrogen generator and a smart battery and you see the battery is fully charged we've actually got some hydrogen to spare a lot of hydrogen to spare and we'll unpause the game really quickly and I'll explain how this works so we've got a electrolyzer now it pushes out two gases hydrogen and oxygen Hydrogen is a lighter gas, oxygen is a heavier gas. So hydrogen gets forced up. Because we've only got a one-tile gap, and we already know with oxygen not included, gases can't cross and pass one another. Um, this tends to stay, well, it, it does stay filled with hydrogen all the time. So, meanwhile, the oxygen gets pushed down, and because we've got a pump here actively pulling the gas out, um, we never ever have any issues with any hydrogen making its way down here. We do have a little bit of automation. Um, basically, these two bottom ones are set that if the pressure is higher than 800, just in case the water cuts off or who knows happens, these two run. Uh, th this gas, uh, this gas pump, this gas pump run. And as you can see, they're running pretty much flat out. We have these ones here hooked up to this sensor which is also set to 800 uh, grams. So if the hydrogen gets to above 800 grams, this um, gas pump turns on. And it stops a few things. It stops us accidentally sucking all the hydrogen out of the air um, and having risking oxygen getting into this top loop. On top of that, it stops the, 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 um, the pumps running all the time because we really don't want them running all the time. We just want them running when they have some hydrogen to, to suck up. And as you can see, these are running beautifully. Now our pump normally moves 500 grams. Because we're using a bridge to join into the second pump, this bit of gas and the bit of gas coming out of this one can merge together and we're getting one kilo blocks worth of gas. Now, this is all insulated pipe up here because I don't want what little heat is gonna be generated from this system to actually come out and, and ruin my biome. Um, we have surrounded everything with metal tiles wherever possible. To make sure that the oxygen we're pumping out, as you can see, is coming out of a nice balmy 22 degrees. So we're running through radiant pipes all the way down here to suck up any cold we can from this biome before, as it starts to heat up, as we pass through the map, we swap across to insulated gas pipe. Now, I did say for many episodes now, I'm planning on this area to being like a central corridor where we're going to run all sorts of things and dripping water seems to be one of them. Mop. Mop. Uh, mop. Alright, that's a problem for me to fix later. Uh, idle's not good. Ah, we're stuck in the room. Uh, just fix that real quick so 10th Doctor can get out. So, we're running the oxygen down and then across. And we're bridging it into this main bridge we had coming down from our original oxygen production. 
Which means from there on it's flooded with oxygen down to our Atmo suits, which we're still not using, but we now have the ability to use. At the same time, once I've bridged into this network, I'm actually putting the gas back up and I'm bridging it across and across and across to make sure that that oxygen, rather than just backing up from there down, can actually pump back up this system and increase oxygen production throughout the base. At the same time, it's coming out at a balmy, like, minus 20 odd degrees. Um, actually, look, it, it's minus 18, but when it finally goes through normal pipe, it starts to heat up. Which means we are slowly air conditioning the base down. Which is probably good, because we have a lot of the base being awfully hot in temperature. Really cheap. Get off the damn wheel. Deconstruct. Yes, deconstruct. Disable build. Problem solved. Um, so that's one of the things that got changed. Second thing that got changed, I put in a second water sieve. Because we, ha we have now an excess of water. But we couldn't get enough into the system. And of course, this, this water sieve system is now running water all the way up here to run this oxygen generation. So we needed more water. So a second water sieve was definitely needed. I put in some smart storage. Um, mainly because it's made out of metal which means it transmits the temperature better because we've got 13 tons of polluted ice. And ideally, I'd like that polluted ice to slowly melt and join the rest of our water so we can actually use it. So we put it on a smart storage. Um, at a later stage, uh, or actually right now, utilities, temp shift plate, um, out of iron, because we've got lots of iron. We run some temp shift plates down to our water and across our smart storage and hopefully suck some of the heat out of the water into our negative 31 polluted ice, along with suck some of the heat out of these two um, these two water sieves. Really? One tile short. Suck some of the heat out of um, the water sieves and into the smart storage compactor. Actually, we'll get rid of those tiles because the bottom one's the important one. Uh, we'll actually do that because I don't really want to spend all my metal at once. So, yeah, temp shift plates, they're just basic big heat sinks. And we can hopefully suck some of the heat out of these things and run them across to our ice. Um, so, the ice melts to have more, more, more water. Um, other things that have changed. Uh, our bar mill is fine. Our food storage is fine. I built a power plant. Because we desperately needed a power plant. Um, because we were just, we had power problems all over the place. We'd caption contain this natural gas. So I popped in a tank. And we're just running into a tank. And then out of a tank as well. All the way up through the base. Through insulated gas pipes. Into our natural gas generators. To give us plenty of power. Um, these are of course hooked up to some smart batteries. Um, we've got a couple of coal generators down here as well. Um, again. These ones are set to turn on at 50%. If we're out of natural gas for some reason. We have coal generators turning on at 40% power. Um, at the same time, we finished the analysis on the cool slush geyser and boxed it in. So now that it's boxed in, it's going to dump out polluted water, which we'll collect down here, um, which we have been doing for quite some time, and pump out. At the same time, the polluted oxygen will slowly off-gas. Uh, the polluted water will slowly off-gas into polluted oxygen, which will slowly probably compress our oxygen and our hydrogen. Um, ideally, I'd like to put in a, a gas pump here and just empty all the gas out, so we're just left with polluted oxygen. Um, but that's a problem for later. This is outputting... Well, this outputs nice, balmy, minus 10 degrees water, which we're taking from here and pumping all the way around the base through an insulated pipe. Um, and here we go. We've got the waters up to 2 degrees, negative 2, negative 4... Um, 
before it comes in here and it hits a radiant pipe. So we've spent a lot of iron building a lot of radiant pipe. Um, come across here in the insulator pipe again, some radiant pipe, and as you can see, it's exiting out of two degrees, so it's still nice and nice and cool when it leaves, which has brought down the temperature of all our generation equipment. Again, some backing plates would do wonders to, to transfer the temperature even better. At the moment, it's not really a concern. But natural gas generators, unless something has changed, whatever temperature the machine is at, being nine degrees, is the temperature the water is spat out at. Because these have a uh, power, natural gas generator. These put out polluted water. Uh, 67 and a half grams per second so they put out a little bit of polluted water and as long as these are cool the water comes out is also cool at the moment the water's 25 odd degrees i can't actually see what it is buried in the mesh tile which is a small floor of the game um but i'm hoping i can keep I can, i'm hoping i can keep them cool enough that i actually get cold water out same story that's being run into a radiant pipe because if it is coming out at you know, 2 degrees or something, we we'll, we'll, might as well use that cooling power again to cool down the generators um, before we go back and insulate a pipe. And that comes up here and joins the rest of the base into the water seeps. It does mean that we have a lot of cooling down here, which is starting to bring down some of the temperature of the base. Um, yeah, we've still got our, our hot water left over here from hot iron. We've, we've got... Lots of hot zones we need to take care of, along with a general food problem still. Um, but we're getting there bit by bit. Now, we also boxed in this cool steam vent. Um, it doesn't go off for another 10 cycles. It'll make steam. Right at the moment, we've got nowhere harvesting that. I have built in all the infrastructure. So we've got some radiant pipe that I can run cool water through to condense the steam. Uh, I've got some automation set up for a thermosensor. Um, so it's set to 100 degrees, i.e. if it hits 100 degrees, let some cool water in and condense this, this the, the steam down to be picked up by our pump. Our pump doesn't have a liquid sensor, so that's probably an oversight on my behalf. Um, hopefully, yeah, I should be able to knock out the wall and get this done in the next 10 cycles. Um, okay, what we'll do, deconstruct... Deconstruct, deconstruct, uh, automation, automation wire, Pro 9, get that done to there. Yeah, that's all Pro 9. Because, um, yeah, the idea is to set this up so we just don't have to worry about it. It'll just run all by itself. Um, actually, that needs to be swept. Yeah, Pro 9. Hopefully, that gets swept out in time. Um, the idea is that this will become self contained. We can just dump cool water through, condense the steam, and then be able to pull the steam out. Um, this one's also set up, um, which I think we did last episode. Uh, I'm not sure. But yeah, we've got, again, making steam, liquid pump, drag the water out, come down and put it in. This is our, our new water storage um, for food and all sorts of things. Um, and, oh, and here's a second storage container with ice and snow in it. As you can see, it's slightly cooling down the area, but not by a whole lot. Um, and I'm about to make it a lot worse by putting a lot more cooking equipment down here and down here. Um, I'd like to get all the cooking equipment in this sort of area so they can grab their materials, cook real quick, um, and again, store it back into there. We've put in a major ladder along with a major fire pole. Um, we've pumped this area free of water as well. Uh, and the other main thing that got done, I don't even know whether you can see it terribly well. Uh, decor overlay. So, all these tiles are now made out of granite. So, you know, tile plus 17, tile plus 18, um, even our ladders. So... Where are we? Ladder is minus 12, which is 4, 4, and 4, rather than 5, 5, and 5. Because we've got as many decor bonuses as we can by changing everything over to uh, Obsidian. 
obsidian. Uh, of course, I find some stand sandstones. Granite, granite. Um, this one still looks to be sandstone, so this one's still going to be fixed. But yeah, changed everything I can possibly over to a better material. Sure, we've still got some dead zones, really, really bad dead zones. Um, bathrooms are a prime example. I really need to do something about some decor in the bathrooms. Um, but yeah, we, we're getting there bit by bit. Uh, my ventilation out of my natural gas generators, because they pump out CO2. I'm just dumping it down here where our farm will end up being. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything so far. Um, we've got a lot of jobs mastered. Uh, Colonel Will can get moved to... Hang on. Colonel Will can we get moved up to here. Um, so yeah, we've got, a, we've got a lot of job mastery has been done, and we'll go through more of that as they come up. Um, I have an anti anthropy thermo nullify up here that I want to get access to. We have another cold biome over here that I want to get access to. So our current project is see how we can get here and how we can get here. Um, along with... Uh, I also desperately need... Um, I desperately need some metal refineries. Probably three or four of them. Um, potentially one for each metal type. Um, along with... We can now have all the technology to get to oil. So I need to get to oil. Um, and I found this this lovely patch down here and then look at how high it was pressurized and went, Ugh. okay. Um, because yeah, we, we, we need to start accessing oil as fast as possible. Um, find out what this geyser is and get to this cooling machine. So that's the next plan for the next episode or 10. Um, how to get to them is a whole different question. Um, that's barn level. So we can cut through the bottom of this. That's hydrogen. Hydrogen can be released into the base without too much hassle. Or we'll actually unpause the game. Um, I did have this water lock here kept cracking these tiles. So I've thoroughly upgraded that as well. Um, that's something I just thought I'd mention. Uh, we're building out of granite wherever possible. Uh, food shortage has been popping up non-stop. Uh, research complete something I can't do anything about anymore. Uh, we want to wrangle you guys. Um, and yeah, the food shortage problem. Basically, I'm just running... Uh... Mush bars, mush fries, and mushrooms as often as I can. Um, we are supplementing a lot of our food with mush fries. But right at the moment, I just... There's nothing I can do about it. Um, we do need to probably empty the water out of the system. Because these two um, whiz warts are just not keeping up. And now we actually have some very, very chilly water down here that we could flush through this system. Um, so let's actually look at doing that. Plumbing. Liquid bridge. Um, just have priority eight. Uh, we're going to use igneous rock. Because we don't need to use sandstone. Because we don't actually need to block off the temperature with how cold this stuff is. Uh... If I run into there, oops, and into there, and literally deconstruct that pipe and that pipe, I need that built before I can. Mm, yeah, I need that built before I can start. Uh, before I can deconstruct one of these pipes. Um, okay. Uh, did we get this done? No. Automation. 
uh, hydro sensor, probably nine up there. I need that built before we can block it back up again. And I need those two items swept. Swept. Uh, you already set to sweeper only. I want organic. And I'd like slime, please. Um, we have finished deconstructing this one entirely, so that one's also been ripped up. Um, there's been a plenty of work being done. Body temperature. So yeah, it's even starting to get a little bit too warm for dust caps. It's probably fine over here. Mm. Yeah, some copy settings. Dig that one up. Problem solved. Alright. We need one point. I'm not sure I knew it. Cancel. Ah, uh, they changed over the pipe type. I didn't want that changed. Uh, yeah, I need that one pipe built. built. Uh, mop nine. Get rid of all this and that and that again. That's what I want. I build that there. That should give me a stopper. Come on, build this stuff. There we go. Hey, you, move here. Oh, really? The materials are literally right there. You don't have to deliver more. It's literally right there. There's 800 kilos of sandstone right there. Sweet. Nine. Uh, okay, so we've dug in here. Glossy Draco's been tied up. Excellent. Um, this is... So that's Abyssalite. Abyssalite is a... Thermal conductivity of zero. So it stops the heat moving through. So I want to try and keep the Abyssalite layer as much as possible. Which means this gap here is where we're going to actually dig through. Uh, granite. Uh, you know what? I'm going to dig straight in there. And same story here. Um, the base is now mature enough. It can deal with a lot of germs and and other things that we find along the way. So I'm a lot more, I wouldn't say reckless. Um, I don't mind as much different liquids we find. What's that coal? Sweep. I'm trying to also get rid of all this leftover material, which is introducing heat into the base. Um, unfortunately, this is abyssalite. So the, the, the abyssalite won't taint, change temperature pretty much ever. Um, which is another catch with, with you know, insulated tiles, etc. They just don't change temperature really ever. Uh, okay, so that's now done. Job mastered. Wota has mastered ranching. Is there anything else you want to do? So, chef, why not? Uh, okay, so yeah, we're going to dig on here, dig up through here. Um, I am now digging up barn lilies where and when I find them, to shove them down to our farm to feed our poor little Drekos, who are slowly being shaved one at a time. Um, having the double door system is doing a good job of keeping the Drekos in. Not perfect, because occasionally they escape, but mostly they keep being kept in. Uh... We're officially out of food. So we're going to take you off that and put you back on pepper bread. And we're just going to have to starve for a little bit.
yeah, we, we need to fix up our farms, which it looks like just happened. Yes. So I need to deconstruct one of these pipes. Uh, temperature overlay. That looks a lot better. To join. Okay. Uh, plumbing. We're just going to go with a plain old liquid pipe because it's going from there to there, from there to there, and you're being deconstructed. Uh, oops. Radiant is probably nine. There to there. And mop, pro nine, all of that crap. here and a couple of patches down there. Uh, okay. Temperature overlay. Body temperature, body temperature, body temperature, body temperature, atmosphere. Yeah, we're still not pumping nearly enough oxygen into the area. We have brought down the temperature near this vent, finally. Uh, if I deconstruct that vent, that should then start pushing gas into this system again. Because we're going up one higher. Because yes, we, we, we ha we've had a few food problem for a long time. Um, now that we've got plenty of cold water from our slush geyser circulating through the system, that's going to alleviate a lot of pressure. Uh, he says he puts the mouse over things and sees pressure light up over and over and over. Uh, oxygen overlay. Yeah, even if we just shovel the carbon dioxide down to one corner, the natural gas is still a separate problem. Um, oh, power. So I moved this one and this one to their own circuit um, off the main power grid, uh, which is not hooked up to there. Uh, power, heavy watt wire, out of gold. Deconstruct. Um, circuit overloaded, which will be this circuit. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, hang on. It's that circuit. Okay. So this one is still drawing too much power, and it's just a case of we need to start looking at killing off some, some items. Oh, power. Okay. So we'll turn that one off and we'll turn that one off. Uh, I'll even go as far as turning that one off. I'll leave that one on at the moment. So if we turn these two off, hopefully we end up in a situation where this is still self-sufficient-ish. Um, at the same time, we don't chew up... Uh, we don't end up with a situation where we don't have enough hydrogen. Uh, body temperature, body temperature. So, temperature overlay. Uh, now too cold. That's not really the sign I wanted. Uh, okay, so what we can now do is we can deconstruct that. Okay, 
your deconstruct, hang on, uh, plumbing, liquid pipe, igneous rock, there to there, cancel that one. Plumbing, insulated, sandstone, like so. Uh, deconstruct, liquid pipes, uh, that one, that one, that one, and those two. So we've gone from too hot to too cold. We're doing well. Oh, actually, what's the air coming out? Oh, 28 degrees. That's not helping our cause. Uh, hang on, let's go back to the ventilation. So minus 13 degrees. And it just heats up as it wanders across the base. Because that is a fairly warm area. Uh, plumbing. Great stop. Uh, Insulated liquid pipe. Probably eight from there to there. Uh, liquid bridge deconstruct. And plumbing. Radiant pipe from there. I'm hoping that's enough that we can get a, a loop going again. With hopefully enough enough cooling in these two wheeze walls to, to keep the system running. Hopefully. There's lots of hopefully going on. Um, really, we've got more more water there as well. So we're going to running loop again. And yeah, hopefully this is enough to stabilise it. I honestly don't know. Um, that's half the joys of oxygen not included, isn't it? Um, mop. Get rid of this. Uh, and wrangle. So we want to get into these pinch of pepper nuts. Um, along with the meat and every, everything else. Suffocating. Wota is... See, the door was shut, doors just reopened because the cycle's changed. Um, that's a lot of water. So yeah, we're having problems with this system again. Uh, water's just been difficult. We got we've got one kilo here one kilo here and there's nothing here for some reason there's no logical reason for it uh, there is a whole kilo down here so this has been running Running and broken for quite some time. Uh, angle, line, grab. Oh, those ones. Just the one on the outside, please. There we go. And change that back. You. Wrangle. Back in your room. Uh, wrangle, nine. You. Okay, um, so we want to unentomb that one, dig that one up, 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 uh, a ladder, okay, granite, yep, uh, dig that, dig that, and dig that. And then, yeah, hopefully we'll get into this fairly soon. Um, and oil. Oil was the other thing I wanted to start planning out. Alright. Before we go any further, let's just stop and plan out oil. Um, now, I need to find out what this geyser is as well before we plan out oil. Um... 
it's got some fairly strong abyss life all the way around it. Okay, what we're going to do is we're literally going to drop in right on the side of it. dig out bits and pieces of this biome and also uncover this job master we've got Valentina's electrical engineer um, yeah, she's she's mastered just about everything uh, everything she starts on she, she's pretty much finished sure Valentina will be a farmhand Still mocking. Still mocking. Still mocking. He's doing it again. I don't know what to do about this. Um. Alright, that's what I'm going to do about it. I'm going to go put the hydro sensor over here instead. And deconstruct. That's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, and as you see, these generators are. when they want to tell us. Uh, status. Okay, who's suffocating? Because the door is shut. Well, active if below a hundred kilos. Hopefully that, that fixes that problem. We're just gonna dig our way to this. Oh really? More water everywhere. Uh, let's go. That's oh, ice. Uh, Pretty eight. I want to get this done. I get this done, I also want to get that done. Don't worry about that. Yeah, because I want to access this pinch of pepper. So many things I want done. Um, and that's one of the reasons we, we, well, I sped through, you know, an hour's worth of footage. Um, there wasn't a lot going on except for waiting for dupes to do things. Uh, this one's even out in temperature, which is good. It's one of the things we were waiting on. Growth halted. Why? A drop of natural gas floating around. Nothing to do about that. Well, not for this iteration. Uh, and this liquid is cool enough, it's just going to keep looping. Yeah, it'll loop for quite some time until it finally heats up. Uh, we are pumping in hot air. So... Bridge deconstruct. We probably need to just put a valve in there at some stage to further automate it because... i got to admit, after so many years of Factorio, um, I'm always looking for a way to automate something. You. Wrangle, get back in your cage. Uh, mark nine. Nope. 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 That one's that one's determined to escape. 
Uh, we have... You gonna tell me? So, our shearing station that is not actually in a stable. Um, has a tiny bit of plastic from this guy. The Glossy Drecker, which if I tamed, I could get him to grow plastic, which would be nice. Uh, but at the same time, it has a stack of reed fiber um, from all our Drekos. And from, you know, the reed fiber we found around the base. So it's actually probably time we did... How many have we got? Fifteen. Which is... A lot. Um, I'm going to leave it until I've actually got enough to, to, to dress all of our dupes in reed fiber. Alright, so that's our anti entropy thingamajiggy bob. Uh, so we're suffocating probably in, in our chlorine room again. Mop that up. Dig that up. Dig that up. Really? You, you, you dug it twice then gave up. Was it because we literally have no oxygen anyway? It's all chlorine, hydrogen. Okay, fine then. Uh, Azure terrarium. Oxygen, Azure terrarium. Uh, properties. It's a plastic ladder. Okay. It's a plastic ladder that I can't deconstruct from this bit. I can deconstruct these ground tiles now, these obsidian tiles, but I can't actually deconstruct the ladder. Um, that's probably fine. It's going to take up ages to deal with that one. Alright. I'm going to end this episode here because, like I said, it's been way longer than, than it should have been. Um,. But yeah, you can see that we're starting to make some serious progress in the base. Um, there's lots of tidying up that needs to be done. Um, lots of fiddling and fluffing around. Um, really? Yeah, lots of fiddling and fluffing around that needs to be done. We're just, just finalizing things. Um, this is now full of balm lilies, so we can actually disable harvest on all of those, so we don't have to harvest them anymore. They're just there to feed Drekos, nothing else. Um, and we'll start playing with our anti anthropy thermo nullifier in a future episode after we work out what this one is and where we're going to put oil, because plastic is a very hot item and putting it in a room with one of these things is definitely helpful but we'll cover all that in the next episode thank you guys for watching as always do hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one all right bye